Y'all, it's your boy Ghost on the Zone 1 live from the 210 all day, every day. And I'm back with another Market Watch. I haven't been here often. I say that every video. Uh, I pro Also, I'm going to say this probably the next couple of videos. Uh, I'm going to try to keep grinding out and putting out more videos. Always say I will. Never get to. Sorry I'm busy. I'm trying to make big changes in my life right now. But until then, I'm going to try to put out content and we'll see how that goes but right now we got a market watch so i'm gonna be talking about a lot of uh i'm putting this out uh thir like right now i'm putting out immediate once i get finished rendering this uh video and editing out and everything i'm putting it up on youtube just because tomorrow they're gonna have uh, on tcg player i'm not sponsored by tcg they are having uh what is it the eight percent kickback where you get eight percent of what you paid and everything and 30 percent for the subscribers um that's probably the best time to buy a product you know but yeah, we're going to talk about the first set that's, uh, come, not first set, we're going to talk about the new set that's coming out this weekend, well, sneak peek wise, uh, Cyberstorm Access, you know, I don't think there's any rush into buying anything right now on pre-sale, especially with a lot of the secrets and ultras that are being printed out right now, they are not three us, or it doesn't seem like it so far, uh, maybe besides the gold pride stuff, but I don't think gold pride's going to be too expensive just because I don't think it's going to be that crazy good of a deck, I mean, it, it has potential, of course. But I don't think it'll be that crazy compared to, like, the other decks right now. And plus, I, I think the best way any of this stuff is going to, like, shoot up in price is, like, the impending ban list that we're waiting for. Um, once we get that ban list, I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff's going to go up. Uh, right now, stuff I'm looking at from this set. Me, personally, I'm looking at Apple Dragon, Ringle Worm, Ringle Star over here. Um, I'm looking at all the Super Heavy Samurais. I'm planning on playing that uh, for next coming format. I think it's pretty good. I think it's, like, broken. You go first, and they don't have hand trap, you win. 100%, I think you win. Unless they, like, maining, like, Dark Lilith, and that sucks. Um, everything else, I think, from this set, I, I think it's kind of mid. I, I'm pretty sure Konami's, like, they're going to have to, like, come out with, like, these sets that are very, what's the word? I think they're just nerfed. Compared to the last two sets we had, they were really strong. Like, automatically, uh, they gave us tier 1 decks. 100%. And then you look at this set and you're like, eh, it's just support. It makes Pearly's good, I guess. Um, I'm also looking at this Time Terry Morganite. I could have swear I had a different name. I'm looking at that card. That makes Evil Eyes pretty cool. Other than that, I'm not looking at anything else really crazy. Other than that, I just say, save your money. Wait a week or two. Y'all ain't in no rush unless there's a regional. Um, just wait till everything goes down. Uh, next card I want to look at, XL Synchro Stardust Dragon. Uh, if you want to play Super Heavy Samurais, you're going to want this as, as a one of. I mean, you can probably do two of and start doing crazier plays. I know I was testing two at one point in my build, like when it, when it first dropped. Because um, you can make like Barone and sometimes... I, there was a way I was able to get Barone and that Bestial Dispater, that, that new Synchro that's coming out. I don't know what it is. But um, this, I bought this card for 15 I think at one point it was even 15 on here. I want to show it. It was at 17 at the lowest. Uh, at light play near mint. Uh, non verified 30, 35, 37. And here's 35 with a dollar 50 shipping. So it, it shot up. I'm pretty sure. Th and that was like one of the first buyouts, too, of this card. It was, it was real good. Just one buyout. Make sure you buy it now before it gets another buyout. Uh, next card for Super Baby Samurais, of course. I'm real hype on them. So there's a lot of like pieces people are trying to buy just because the deck's cheap. Another card is Gear Gigant X. Don't do XG. You know, it's weird. I don't know why that has only one listing. Huh? But um, Gear Gigant X, I had supers thinking they were secret, but they're not secret. Um, I think even the supers, I think they're cheap, right? Ooh, I lied. Uh, they are sevens a pop. They used to be twos, maybe even a dollar. Yeah, they were a dollar at one point. So now they're seven. You need at least one. Help search as a, it searches everything really in the deck. Because any two monsters, you just make this. You can get Cyberstein. That's what I'm using it for, just to get the Cyberstein. I know Cyberstein's been slowly increasing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Secrets on limbs are 20. Yeah, and this has gone through BIOS. So, really expensive card here. Uh, Zeus. This format, we're going to see a lot of Zeus. I wouldn't be surprised if they limit this. Uh, I know OCG, I think they limited this card. This card is broken. Every variant of it so far is pretty much money. I remember Ultras being, weren't they in the teens? I could have swore, like, I don't think, yeah, they were 15, 14, and it shot up 25s. 
And this is Megatons. And you look at Phantom Rage. I don't think they're 36. I don't know if they are 37. I thought they could have been more. Here's the old TS. I had a friend. I think he was buying these at like 30 a pop, 20 a buck. Look at them. Almost 70 bucks. This is going to keep going up. I think it's getting reprinted, but as a quarter century rare in that... I think it's the Battles of Legends. I'm not too sure. But if it doesn't come out with like a, like a lower rarity, like another Ultra, another Secret, expect to be paying good money on this car. You are going to need it. Uh, especially for the deck like Pearly. And speaking of Pearly, this car, Power Filter, it's a floodgate just to hit them. Uh, they are going to need like some board breaker just to beat it. So neither plague may special summon monster with a thousand attack or less. All our monsters are pretty much a thousand attack or less. Um, the only way to get rid of it is just spell trap removal. And this deck is, let's look at light play near mint. I mean, 75 cents right now. Get it while you can. This is a common too. Only bad thing. Wait, is this a common? Yeah. Huh? Wait, hold on. Shit, I'll buy it right now. As soon as I get off this, as soon as I get off this video, hold on. Yo, I'm about to do this right now. Uh, but yeah, buy that as soon as you guys can. Uh, I know Super Heavy Samurais can't run it, but every other deck can. Uh, if you look at the commons... Commons? Oh, uh, one dude in my Discord, shout out my boy Eric. I think this man bought like 47 of them. Because he was really hype on this card. So, get it while you can, guys. Uh, another tech card I'm, I've been looking at. Uh, this is for Super Heavy Samurais, of course. A lot of this is going to be Super Heavy Samurai. I'm sorry. A little bit biased here. Uh, King Tiger Wang Q. So, if you have a free and normal summon, because sometimes you do. You just drop this on the field. Monsters when attack equal to 1400 or less that are normal, especially something they're just automatically destroyed. So, another anti pearly tech. I mean, even if you don't have like a you don't need your normal summon, just use this card. Pretty good floodgate, especially with the Nisa. This also hurts us as well, like Super Sam's. A lot of them, I, I think they're like zero attack, zero defense. So, just interesting tech. Uh, Nadir Servant. I don't, I don't know why. I know the Ultra is they're pretty cheap. I think they've been rising. I don't think, yeah, they've always been around like five to four dollars. I mean, they're slowly rising just because Brandon are able to take advantage of it and everything. I know the secrets they've been shooting up. At one point, I think they were at twenties, and I said, eh, they'll keep dropping. No one's seen play with them and everything. They do the same thing. I think Brandon players can play without it and everything. So I'll just wait till it drops, and it never dropped, and now it just shot up at forty-five bucks. Uh, Honestly, I can see this getting another reprint. I, I don't think it'll be secret or higher. It says this said Rise of the Duelist. It was so hard to get because it was during that COVID season. I, because I remember trying to get this set and I could never find it anywhere, anywhere. No Target ever had it. No Walmart ever had it. I was like, it sucked. But, oh well. Uh, looking onto like the far future stuff. This is for like Duelist Nexus Rescue. He's got a new boss monster. I think it's a boss monster. Uh, I think it. Book of Moons as well. I'm not too sure. I'm not too familiar with Rescue Ace stuff. But I do know uh, one guy in my Discord. He says it's very good. I know OCG. It's topping. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, the main card you want to look at is Rescue Ace Hydrant. And Turbulence. I know those two. They're, they're main ones. I know Turbulence is the one to two of. I think even the Ultra Air. I mean, it's four bucks. It's cheap. Uh, the Hydrant's the main one. That's a three of, I think, at all times. And it's an $11 card when I think it was... a one dollar card at one point nah it was always a four dollar card crazy and then the, but the crs that's where you're gonna see a big jump i remember this was a twenty dollar i said dollar dollar cr i lied it was at 28 and now it's 70 sheesh that's a big jump um feature support dinos i'm looking forward to playing dinos I'm, I'm looking at it it looks pretty interesting with a lot of the new support it's i think it's in wild survivors i think we're anticipated to get that in may late i think it's may 31st i think that's when ots store is going to get it um all dino stuff looks pretty cool there's not really any surefire like dinosaur card to pick up where you know you can get a lot of value real fast a lot of, a lot of the cards have been reprinted um i'm looking at the the two cards that i want to pick up First, I think I already did. That you should pick up are the one of or not? Yeah, they're both one ofs, and they're both uh, single printed. So they've only been printed the one time. So this is the structure deck, Petit Pterodon, Petit Petit Terrain, uh, whatever, bro. Um, it's only two dollar card right now, but only has one printing. Might have to go after. 
Another card is Lost World. This has been getting multiple reprints, but it's a very interesting card. And I think the other ones are rares. Yeah, right. no, no one likes rares. Really. Just get the hollow print. Just get the hollow print. And this is less than a dollar. I don't see why not to pick it up. Uh, Future Support. I think this is also coming out in Battles of Legends. That new one we're going to get. Because I think that's when we get a Soul Synchro. Unless it's that or Duelist Nexus. One of those two. One of those two we're getting it. Uh, that broken Assault synchro, uh, Synchron, where it's just a level 2 tuner that just summons itself for free. Um, the best way to get it out is through tuning. You can search it through this card. It's a, you can just run three of this, and you'll always see it no matter what. Um, the ulties, they've been gone for a good while. Ever since I think Assault Synchron got announced, they've been gone. There's only 10 on the market that are light played near mint. And if you want an English one... Oh, here's a German for... Okay, bro. Get me out of here. I don't, I don't want to see stuff like that. <laughs> There's the original Ultra Rare from Star Strike Blast. I think this is even gone as well. Wow. Light play is 15 bucks. You near mint first ed, for some reason it's 10, it's, le it's less. Uh, if we're looking at, this also got a reprint in Legendary Duelist Season 3. That was pretty cool. And they're all like around a dollar to two dollars. Just depends what color you want. If you even care. There's even a super that's uh, from Shadow Spectre. That's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, you probably want your tunings before they go up. But just take a look at Pot of Prosperity. Uh, a lot of decks are using it now. I I'm pretty sure Pearly are able to use it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it with uh, that Versus or the Vanquish Souls deck. That one looks pretty cool. This is like a 3 up for them. Unless the ban list hits it. I know a lot of people are offloading the Prosperities for that. So we'll see on that one. Only time will tell. I'm looking at also for the Vanquish Souls Durandal. This actually searches their Fire Warrior uh, monster that's also able to roll to other monsters. Excuse me. Um, this, this card searches level 5 or lower warrior monsters, so that's pretty cool. So that adds, I think it's called Raisin. I like Raisin. Uh, so look, I'm looking forward to that. It only has Ultra Super Super Rare. So just take a look if you want to get the Ultras. It came from Rise of the Duelist. It was a very hard set to come by. So take a look at that. Uh, I'm looking at Unchained as well for Duelist Nexus. They're getting new links that are able to do some crazy stuff and just summon just generic fiends. So take a look out for that. A lot of this stuff, it went up at first and now it's going back down. I guess it's stabilizing. I guess people didn't know when Duelist Nexus was going to come out. So we'll see. But uh, I've been looking at this personally. I already have my cord. So I think it's already max rated. I think the other card... That's also part of it. I think it's Abomination's Prison. Yeah. Okay, that's their main rota. Take a look at that. Did this tank? Eh, it went up a little bit. Yeah, at one point it was at 8 to 9 bucks. I mean, it's there. Yeah, we'll see. So, volcanic stuff. Uh, The stuff I would be looking at mostly be... I bought the Volcanic Counters. I like the old school supers compared to like Dual Terminal. I never really liked Dual Terminal. It looks like horrible glass. Um, Volcanic Shells from Speed Duel. This is the highest rarity if you want to compare it to the ulti. So this is like mid rarity compared to like the ulti. So this card is probably freaking expensive. Oh, it went down. I saw it was like 25 bucks like last week, I think. But that's just, this is just because it's Speed Duel pack. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of stuff like that out in the open. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. And stick around for the next videos I'll be posting up. So I'll catch y'all later. Peace.